Hey guys, it's Evil Anakin. Today we're walking around Little Tokyo and just seeing what's new. There's been a lot of stuff popping up lately, so let's check it out. So speaking of new things, the first thing we have to check out is the pop-up shop. It was a Furu event last time we were here, and now it's an Akiba Maid War Cafe. We're not going to be going there today. It's going to be a future video, so keep your eyes out for that. Just wanted to talk about it and let you guys know. This ends at the end of July, so make sure you go. Our first stop, though, is the Q-Pop Shop, which is just right next door and they have a pop-up shop with Super Milk Chan. The creator of Super Milk Chan launched this. He was actually there for the first two days of the event, and I was sad I couldn't go. It was like the week before Anime Expo, and I'm just like, man, I really want to save my money for Anime Expo. But this is literally going away the day after filming this, so I'm so glad I was able to make it down there. A lot of this original art stuff on the walls is so expensive but they did have some cheaper stuff around, like stickers and some collab shirts with the store, which were, you know, decently priced. I'd say they're a little bit expensive for a graphic tee, but I mean, everything's a little expensive nowadays. But everything here was just so cute. I love Milk Chan so much. She is just adorable. Do you guys remember the show being on Adult Swim? I remember watching it on Adult Swim and just thinking it was the weirdest thing I'd ever seen in my life. But yeah, they just have like everything here, like sweaters and shirts and mugs, like why? And just so much art. But this is such a really cool pop-up. I hope they do more like this in the future, because I really like this. I hope it did well. These are the branded pop-up shop shirts. These were like $35, which aren't bad. Everything else that was like original was a little bit more expensive. I'm just gonna put it that way. But everything was still super cool. If I had an unlimited budget, I would just buy everything in this store because it was uh, it was just so cool. And uh, here's some photos of some of the stuff I thought was cooler. Love these bags. And then they had like a mannequin with all the outfits and some uh, clear folders. After that, I stopped and got a corn dog. And then I made my way over to Hypeland. The Hypeland store just recently opened. They used to be really big at anime conventions. They were kind of small at Anime Expo this year, but they just launched their store in Little Tokyo, right at like the entrance of Little Tokyo. And it's super cool. I love it. They've got total vibes going on in here. And actually later that night, they hosted a Smash Brothers tournament. I was not around for it. I did see it on social media. And it was in this outside area outside of the store and it's just so cool they have so much cool stuff in here that's just all about the vibes like look at these old crt monitors you can see yourself you can't really see me in the video here but it's still pretty cool and then they also had a lot of collabs so they had like a hello kitty collab they have a one piece collab and gundam and junji ito and uh, yeah just so many cool things but going on to the next store, we're going to go to the Weller Court. Always have to check out their little signage going on. And we're going to Soragumi. I haven't been here yet. I think this store is new. And I think I might have a new favorite store in Little Tokyo. Because this place is exactly what I want out of Little Tokyo. <laughs> it's uh, a lot of cute anime girls. That's what we're going to go in here and that's all we're going to see. Soragumi is actually the main reason for my trip to Little Tokyo today. They're doing a collab with Nikkei, and of course the first thing you see when you open the door, Nikkei. You can get this bag if you take a photo and post it on X. I already have one from Anime Expo, and I didn't really want to carry around a giant bag with me. But yeah, we'll see that in just a second. Let's just go through the store, because there is so much cool merch here. M-Rage has a huge collection. They've got like body pillows that have <laughs> booba inserts, which are just crazy. They got a fern here, just, just everything. And then they had these cute uh, art boards. I don't know if these are official and there was no price on them either, but they had free rin and so many cool ones. These shirts are really cool. I think this is R River City Girls and this is with M-Rage as well. And then I think these are original pieces. These were cool. I'm not really a car guy, but I like the design. They seem to just have a mix of like everything here. So they've got like stickers, pins, and acrylics. This is actually uh, Zenless Zone Zero. And these are some cool acrylics there. And they got plushies, lots of plushies, more acrylics, and then some cards as well. The art cards are really cool. They also had some keyboards and jackets here. This, 
Jojo jacket was really cool. I liked this to be continued thing right there on like the the chest. But we're now in the back of the store and that's where the Nikkei collab is going on. They're doing this sponsored photo booth here, which is super cool. You can go in and it's absolutely free. There's a whole bunch of props outside of the photo booth as well. We'll take a look at that. I mean, they're kind of just cheesy photo booth props, not anything Nikkei specific, but yeah, you can come in here. You can get free prints as well. I got prints for all of mine. They've got cutouts outside. I believe these were the ones from Anime Expo. And here's all those props. It's just a bunch of sunglasses, basically. And then, of course, you get to choose your frame. I got all six. I had to get all six. And it just spits out the photo for you right there, and then gives you a QR code to download them. I had to get all of them. I had to get one of each. I'm just obsessed. I'm an obsessed collector. Especially if it's free. I it, Just more reason to do it. I don't know how long this collab's gonna be going on. This literally just launched the day of filming this, and I'm gonna be posting this the day after. So, you know what, guys? Make sure you go down to Sorogumi and check out this Nikkei photo booth and maybe get that free bag as well. I didn't get one. I'm gonna be going back, so maybe I'll get it next time. I already have a few, so I don't I don't really care, but yeah. But that's gonna be it for today's video. Be sure to like and subscribe, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye bye. Have a good one.